scary mysteries, twisted news, abducted teen, and woman stuffed in a suitcase. Terrifying cases of true crimes and strange events. Every week, Twisted News dives into two mysterious and scary cases currently happening in our world. This week, we're going to tackle the case of an abducted teen who finally reunited with her mother after more than a decade, and the surprising development in the case of a woman who got kidnapped and stuffed inside a suitcase. Give it your scary mysteries, Twisted News. Number one, abducted teen. It may not be true for everyone, but perhaps many of us are quite fixated on the notion of stranger danger. It's understandable though, considering how the media portrays kidnappers to be pedophiles, serial killers, and shady strangers who prey on helpless children. Surprisingly though, statistics have indicated that there's actually more child abductions perpetrated by family members than those of strangers. And though some of us may find this a little bit relieving, these actions still pose significant damage to the child's safety and well-being. The abduction of Jacqueline Hernandez is among those considered to be deeply disturbing, and here is her story. In December of 2007, Jacqueline's father, Pablo Hernandez, allegedly kidnapped her from their home in Claremont, Florida. A series of investigations were conducted at the time to locate the missing six-year-old child. State authorities even issued a felony warrant on the suspected kidnapper. Checkpoints were put up as police feared that the pair would run off to Mexico. But with no leads and further information, investigators were forced to sit on the case. So for more than a decade, no one had a clue on the whereabouts of Jacqueline, as well as the father, her abductor. Just as the public was distraught over this tragedy, the victim's mother, Angelica Salgado, was the one most troubled. And then suddenly, on September 2nd, 2021, 14 years after her daughter had vanished, Salgado reported to the Claremont Police Department that a woman contacted her through Facebook. The stranger apparently claimed to be her lost daughter, Jacqueline, and the latter went on to reveal that she was in Mexico and wanted to meet her at a point of entry to the U.S. in Laredo, Texas. Picking up on this information, a task force was formed comprising units from Florida and Texas as well as detectives from the Department of Homeland Security. The coalition concocted a plan to intercept the young woman during her meeting with Salgado in order to verify her identity. The meetup then was made on September 10, 2021 in Laredo, and on that day it was confirmed that indeed the mysterious female was Jacqueline Hernandez, the girl who disappeared back in 2007. In a later interview, the young Hernandez said that She did have a good childhood, but the longing to see her mother prompted her to make the contact. In the midst of this joyous reunion, the reports failed to mention the reason behind the abduction in 07. Officials did say that they are trying to locate Mr. Hernandez under an active arrest warrant. Despite the lack of details, the public couldn't help but wonder the kind of life that Jacqueline had gone through at the side of her father. For her to actually find ways to contact her mother after all those years may suggest an underlying issue that is perhaps too dark to be revealed right now. Number 2. Woman Stuffed in a Suitcase Despite all those expert tips and advice, it remains difficult to see the early warning signs of an unhealthy relationship. There are those who unfortunately realized only in the end that they were actually dating or were married to a terrible person. And there were the unlucky few who suffered a much more tragic fate. Long hair, a well-trimmed beard, an urban hipster look, and a Portuguese accent. It's no wonder why Valerie Reyes was smitten to the guy in question, Javier da Silva. The two had met in New York sometime in 2017 and had lived together before their eventual breakup in April of 2018. The reason was disheartening and it was for everyone to see. 
The woman's family, friends, and relatives said that De Silva was a very manipulative person. He was very controlling to the point that he would never take no for an answer. Their toxic relationship caused the New Rochelle woman most likely to eventually decide to end their love affair. This apparently didn't sit well with the Venezuelan. A year after their breakup, the 24-year-old tattoo artist was reported missing to the New Rochelle Police Department. A few days later, while the investigation was ongoing, her corpse was then discovered stuffed in a suitcase that was abandoned on the side of a public road in nearby Greenwich, Connecticut. The victim was found in what the judge would later describe to be a gruesome situation. She was barefoot, her shirt unbuttoned and her mouth sealed with several layers of packing tape. The medical examination findings said that she incurred major head trauma and had died due to homicidal asphyxiation. This meant that she was probably choked to death before she was forcefully stuffed inside the luggage. It didn't take long for the police to find their suspect, though. The court document said that in the days following her disappearance and apparent murder, the ex-boyfriend used her ATM card and empty all of its remaining balance, totaling around $5,000. Unsatisfied with the loot, though, he also sold her electronic gadgets. On February 11, 2019, De Silva was arrested at his apartment in Flushing, Queens, initially for charges concerning the money withdrawals. A few days later, authorities ranked up his charges to federal offense for the kidnapping and murder of Reyes. In 2021, the accused pleaded guilty to kidnapping, but not for the murder. In his defense, he said that he and the woman were together at Reyes's place when she accidentally fell to the floor and hit her head. Investigators said he must have panicked and decided to cram up the victim inside the bag, which inadvertently killed her. Despite these theories, the judge who oversaw the trial thought De Silva was simply an evil person capable of doing such a horrendous act. The prosecution thought so as well, and they argued that it was nothing but a horrific, premeditated crime committed by a callous person. As such, a New York court found De Silva guilty of kidnapping and murder of the young woman. The 25-year-old was given a 30-year-to-life jail sentence, which he'll serve at an undisclosed correctional facility. While it would be easy for us to feel sorry for Reyes and for the tragedy that she had been through, we can never tell for ourselves that we won't get trapped in the same kind of cursed situation. Love after all, is full of surprises, and you never know what's coming for you. So there were two of the most surprising and disturbing stories around. The world can be a crazy place, and Twisted News is always there to show you why. If you guys like this video, then subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell. We have new videos coming out every single week for you guys to check out. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you soon.